How's it going, my beautiful ladies and gentlemen? Welcome back to the Pal World boss fight video. Okay, I probably should not have started this video next to a bunch of hostile B guards. Those guys are very dangerous. They always just fucking explode all over my face, bro. Anyways, today we're gonna be facing off against what's his name, Jormantide, which is quite the name. He's level 45, which is pretty dang high, actually. I myself am only only a measly level 40. However, however, sorry, I'm chipping over my words. However, we're gonna be killing him today. I have with me a makeshift handgun that is a rare variety. If you don't know how to get a rare variety of that gun, um, you just have to like find the blueprint for it in like chests or in supply drops. It's a little bit of a like luck based item. However, with enough grinding, you can get an uncommon or a rare variant, and, um, yeah, if you have an uncommon makeshift handgun, like, that would probably work fine. We also have the refined metal helmet, and the heat-resistant refined metal armor, um, a giga shield, a giga glider, and a defense pendant, but the defense pendant isn't that important, as it only raises my defense by, like, 35. As for the team I'm gonna be using... We have an Ikther Deer Terra, which is my main mount. We have a Veilet. We have a Grizzbolt. We have Sibilix. And we also have Warsect. Warsect, um, Grizzbolt, and Veilet are the three most important. However, Sibilix and Ikther Deer Terra are gonna come in handy as well. If there's any of these people who you do not know how to get, I have videos showing you how to get every single one of these pals. So check those videos out if you need a bit of assistance with that. But with all of that said, there's not really much more else to talk about, so let's fast travel up here and just head down to Jormantide. Alright, well I just opened a chest and here he is. I didn't actually realize that he was straight up in the water. I thought he was like in a dungeon, like he was a dungeon boss. But we're going to be starting this fight off with a Grizzbolt. Oh, uh, something to note is I do have the Grizzbolt's minigun mount thing. Um, which is pretty strong against low-level enemies, but against high-level enemies like this, it just does a bunch of ones. I do like to start the fight off with this, though, as it is pretty cool. Okay, holy shit, that's my shield entirely gone. Alright, so we're just gonna be spamming it with my makeshift handgun while we let my, um, pals do all the big work. Okay, Grisbolt's already dead. She's gonna send Sibilix out. Sibilix is pretty strong, so I'm assuming she's gonna do something pretty good against him. Oh my good god. This Jormantide guy is fucking beefy. Yeah, so this is why it's really important to have a high damage gun. Okay, why is he coming towards me? He's kind of scaring the shit out of me if I'm being completely honest. Yeah, this is why it's really important to have a high damage gun. Because even with his intense defense, you're only going to be doing several, like, dozen at the most. Like, you're, ba you're barely going to be making the double digits in damage. And he's got, like... 4.7k HP. Okay, he's really getting up in my grill now. Okay, my shield is back up. He seems to be relatively easy to dodge, so that's at least good. Try to get as many headshots as you can, seeing as, you know, you do very little damage. You're gonna want to get extra crits whenever you possibly can. Just keep strafing. Okay, that's my shield entirely gone in one hit. That is absolutely not good in the slightest definition. Oh my god. Okay, I'm just gonna make it my life's mission to just let my shield regen. I need to have my shield up because he does- Oh fuck, what am I doing? No. Ah, oh, damn it, bro. I kind of got hit there. He does so much damage that, like, if he hits me with one of his really big attacks when my shield is gone, that could be incredibly devastating to me. So let's just run away from whatever the hell he just did. Okay, he didn't do anything, I don't think. Holy fuck, he's climbing over the rocks. Holy fuck. Okay, he hit me. He's kind of got moves, not gonna lie. Ooh. No, no, no. Oh, no, no, no. Let me just feast a little bit. I know that doesn't really help, but my boy's hungry. I'm hungry for that HP. Okay, Sibilex is getting kind of munched up. Let's send out Warsect. He's an absolute tank and a half. Warsect, if I could make left to him, I would. That's how fucking good he is. Just dome this prick in the head. Dome him in the head, right? That's good logic. My shield is back up, so I have a little bit of breathing room for his big powerful attacks, but a little bit of breathing room doesn't exactly cut it when he does a thousand damage with that big blue thing. You know what, bro? This is kind of cowardly, but I think I am just... Com I'm completely comfortable... Just being 200 feet away from him like this, not gonna lie. <laughs> yeah, Warsect, you go, buddy. Woohoo, Warsect, woohoo, you got it. I'm doing like zero damage, pretty much. Just trying to dome him a little bit. Oh no, he's coming towards me. Yeah, I'm not letting him close that distance, bro. Fuck no. Warsect is not doing much damage, but he is 
doing a steady amount of damage, closing the gap, kind of. He's just ta he's just tanking, just doing a little bit of damage while tanking. You know, everything he's doing is pretty much just a W in this fight. Oh, he just dazed him. <laughs> Yo. Alright, so German Titan is past halfway HP, which is nice. Although, this fight is far from over, especially with Zods. Wait, okay, the trees are actually OP. Because his big attack hits the tree. So it can't hit me at all. Yeah, the trees are actually OP as fuck. Okay. New strat unlocked. Mother Nature. A powerful ally. Okay, who can I bring out? Let's bring out Veilette. She's actually like insanely good. Let's just let her go up and run up on this guy. She has those she has that grassy tornado thing. Okay, I don't know what the hell she's doing. Let's kind of send her out closer towards him. Okay, that's my shield half gone. Let's try to yeah, let See, Veilet is just really good. I should have brought her out a little bit sooner, shouldn't I have? Let's just... Okay, let my shield regen. My health has regen almost to max, so I'm in a bit more of a comfortable position now, which is very fantastic. Okay. There's a free Pal Alliance Devout over there, but I think he has the, the courtesy to not fight me while I'm killing German Tide. I think he knows that German Tide is like the be the beast of all beasts. Okay, he's below a thousand HP. We're in the home stretch. I am gonna try to catch him. I don't know how well that's gonna go over. Okay, it's not gonna go over very well if he hits me with one of those. Come on, let's just get him down a few more hundred. I think we, once we get him to about 200 HP, we're gonna get... Okay, wait, Veilet's actually getting cooked. Um, yeah, Sibilex, why don't you go fuck him up a little bit? Oh, okay, that's my shield. Let's keep the shield up. Yeah, losing now is really not what I'm trying to do. I'm being honest. I really just do not like losing. I don't know if that's something that you guys do like doing, but I kind of just don't. That's just my humble opinion. All right, let's take Sibilix back. Let's just DPS him down a little bit. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Okay, the Free Pal Alliance virgins are now fighting me. Really not good. Okay, let's just try to get a few more hits on him. Get him down to like 50. Okay, let's throw this thing at him. Wait, what was that chance? Okay, 3%. Yikes. I do have 41 of these balls. I just missed. Yeah, 0.21. Okay, the odds are not looking very good for me, but you know what? I'm a man against the odds. I always... <laughs> what am I talking about, bro? I'm a man against the odds. I always win. Come on. I don't care if German Tide level 45 escaped the sphere. He's gonna submit. He either submits or he dies, so I'm willing to sit here for as long as it takes, man. Absolutely is... Oh, wait, what the hell? Yo, we just got him. Wow. Oh my god. Caught in 90 different types of pals. That <laughs> that was the 90th different pal that I have just caught, ladies and gentlemen. German Tide. Well, let's head back to base and have a look at his stats, because I'm very interested to see if he's going to be a new addition to my team. Okay, I'm back home. German Tide. Wow. 570 attack, 480 defense, and he has a level of 4 watering. Wow. Um, who does that replace? Honestly, that may just replace Grizzbolt. Grizzbolt was never that good. I only kind of just had him for the gimmick, honestly. Sibilex isn't even that good as well. Um, I kind of thought she would be really good, but she's sort of not. I, I might be better off with having, like, a Mammarist than having Sibilex. Well, that is German Tide, ladies and gentlemen. Let's get this guy out. Is he is he gonna be massive? Oh yeah, he is fucking gigantic. Imagine having this guy working at your base. That would be a sight and a half, wouldn't it? Wow. Well guys, thank you so much for watching. I really, really appreciate it. And I'll see you guys all next time. But until then, stay awesome as always. And peace out.